Hi everybody, welcome to Intern Talks Wheel. Unscripted tonight, probably going to be the noisiest background you'll ever hear. But today we're talking about Oliver Salberg because of the news that just broke out earlier today. Or at least today of, as of me recording this, that he announced on his social media that he had been released from his Hyundai contract and he will not be doing Spain or Japan this year nor will he be driving for Hyundai next season and obviously this has come as a big shock to Oliver Salberg's fan base and a shock to me as well I mean I like the guy but I didn't see this coming at all I did not see this coming at all but it's one thing to be shocked, but I guess at this point we just have to look into it and see why exactly this happened, right? Now, I've made a list of Salberg's finishes in 2022, and this is performance overall, to try and figure out what it is about him that Hyundai are just not interested in. And obviously, he hasn't had the best season at all. He's done eight rallies this season in the Rally 1 car. And he he has four points finishes out of those eight rallies. The rallies he did not score points in were Monte Carlo, where he had a car issue that was causing fumes to go in the cockpit. And he also went off, but overall he retired because of the fumes. Croatia he retired from because he crashed on stage nine from P5, mind you. Uh, what else we got here? Estonia he did not score points in. Because he was just he just he didn't have any pace in Estonia. Plus he had a puncture, plus he had a power steering issue. So all of that coupled together all of that together gave him P thirteen in the end and no points. And Finland was his most embarrassing rally of the season where he crashed on the second stage of the rally at the right at the beginning too and retired right then and there, totaled the car. But as it regards his points finishes, he got 6th in Sweden, he was 10th in Kenya, a rally he just had no pace at, and he came 4th in Belgium, despite again not having that much pace but keeping his nose clean. And the same thing happened in New Zealand, not really that much pace, but he kept his nose clean. And that's been the story of his season, he's either had crashes, or he's just made it to the finish, but he hasn't really, he hasn't really done anything amazing, and I think that's kind of what's made hyundai a bit scared about him because anybody that follows the wrc knows that hyundai have not had the best season they've they're in a situation right now where it seems as though a lot of people are frustrated especially tanak you can tell him and this car aren't really the best of friends adamo left there's just a lot of negative energy around hyundai right now and they've stated on their social media that they have released Oliver because they plan to go with a more experienced lineup in 2023. And I guess I guess that somewhat makes sense because you look at Sordo's results. Danny Sordo has done, I believe, only three rallies this year. And he's gotten podiums in all of them. And you look at Oliver, he's done eight rallies in the Rally 1 car this season. And he's finished in the points four times. He's crashed out of two rallies, you know, and Estonia, he just didn't really have much. So given how bad things are at Hyundai right now, I do understand them wanting to put people in the car that they can trust to score. And not just score, but I guess bring feedback that will help them improve the car. And with the rumors that Tanak is leaving... I guess I guess they realize that Newville's really their only guy right now. Sordo definitely does not come off as a long-term investment for them. Even though he's doing very well, it's obvious Sordo has one foot out the door and that he's probably not going to come back in a full-time role anytime soon. Things could change, but as of right now, it doesn't look like Sordo's going to come back in a full-time capacity for them. Obviously, the name that's floating around now is Andreas Mickelson. Which I guess would make sense. You know, he's he's been in WRC for a good while now. He's he's definitely an experienced driver and he'll he'll definitely be itching to get back to the top level. So I, I believe he might be the one that they replace him with. 
if Tanak stays, then I I expect the lineup in 2023 to be Tanak, Neuville, Mickelson, and maybe Sordo in a fourth car. Or maybe just no Sordo at all if they just get Mickelson full time. I don't know. But that's how it looks to me. As it regards Oliver, I unfortunately I don't really know where he goes from here. I don't really know where Salberg goes from here. Because already as it stands, Rally 1 seats are quite scarce. You know, obviously, there's Ford and Toyota. I feel as though Toyota kind of have things under control right now. Ravan Perra's not going anywhere. Doesn't look like they're going to get rid of Evans. Doesn't look like they're going to get rid of Lappy or Katsuta. I think they have a pretty fixed lineup right now. M Sport is kind of up in the air. Loeb is part time. Formos had a terrible season. Greensmith hasn't really looked that good. Breen's been on a rough stretch, even though he's technically the leader of the team right now. It's not really looking too good over at M Sport, but the question is Will M Sport want Salberg? Even though they're going through a rough patch with some of their drivers right now, is Salberg the answer for them i don't know but i feel as though if we do see salberg in a rally one car it's probably gonna be with ford i don't see it being toyota at all i i guess if we do see him next season probably won't be in a full-time role but i could see him doing some w wrc2 events maybe getting a one-off with them sport in a puma he'll probably even go to rally cross i know that's something he's done in the past but it is a shame to see a driver as young as Salberg get dropped this soon. I mean, obviously, he hasn't really showed that much. But, I mean, he's still been able to bring the car home in decent positions. I guess the issue here is that they, they expected Salberg to do what Katsuta is doing over at Toyota. Because up until New Zealand, Katsuta had finished in the points in every rally this season. Every rally this season, he's gotten points. And he got a podium as well in Kenya again. And I guess what with all the crashes that Salberg's had this season, the, the mediocre performances, they, they kind of wanted him to be their Katsuta and he wasn't filling those gaps. So I guess that's where we are right now. So um, it sucks for Oliver, but he's still young. There's still, there's still a chance for him to redeem himself from this, this rough patch he's been going through. I for one would have liked to have seen him go through the rest of the season just to see if he could redeem himself in maybe maybe Spain, maybe Japan. But Hyundai have made their decision and that's just how it's going to be. So we'll see what happens, but that's where it's at right now with Oliver Salberg. This is intern signing out.